Hello guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can extract answers from your own custom data by using large language models. The tool which I'm going to use for this purpose is one of my favorite these days, TXT AI. If you don't know what TXT AI is, then please watch my other videos and I'll also drop the link in video's description where I go into much more detail as how to use TXT AI and all the relevant information around it. But for this video, let's go and see how can we do question answering extract by using TXT AI. Let me log in to my terminal, which is my Ubuntu instance. Let me quickly show you my Ubuntu version, which is 22.04. And I'm using it locally. I have one GPU on my system of 16 GB RAM. But even if you're running on CPU, you should be fine. Let me clear my screen. Now, the first step which we need to do is to install TXT AI. If you don't know how to install it, as, as I mentioned, um, I'll drop the link in video's description. Now, let me fire up my Python interpreter in order to do the question answering. So this is my Python interpreter. Let's first extract the or import the embeddings. Embeddings are simple numerical representation of your text data and they are mainly used for similarity search. Let's import it. So here we primarily have imported the embedding instance. Embedding instance is main entry point for this tool TXT AI. And this instance defines a method used to tokenize and convert a segment of text into embeddings vector or numerical representation. Next step we need to do is to import the extractor instance and that is an entry point for extractive question answer. So now let's import our extractor from TXT AI and the command to do it is simple. This one. Okay, that is done. And now let's create our embedding instance first. The instance, uh, the embedding instance, which I'm going to use is this paraphrase mini LM uh, L6 V2. And the good thing about TXT AI is that you can use any um, embedding instance you want from Hugging Face. So this is the one which I'm going to use. And for the extractor instance, I'm just going to use the distal bird base case. It is quite lightweight and quite performant too. So let's go with this one. Let me go back to my terminal. Okay, so my embedding instance is done. Next, we are going to do the extractor instance, which I just showed you the distal bird. That is also done. Now let's give it a small data set. I have just prepared a small data set on some of the fan, fa fan facts on Australia. It is just a list with uh, which is called as data with some of the facts about Australia. And now let's ask it few of the questions. So what we are doing is we are using TXT AI's extractor instance to extract the answers to our questions from this data set. Sorry, I just have double pasted it. My apologies. Okay, let me now paste my question here. So this is my question. So I'm asking it, where is Oprah House in Australia? Now, if you go through these facts, you will see that in the last item of this list, this data set says Oprah House, an iconic building in UNESCO World Heritage Site is in Sydney. Let's see if our extractor or our model is able to extract that. the heck sorry about that let me properly paste it just printing this and now let me print the answer okay I have to do the proper spell check here Let me make so what is happening here is that I am in my this print command. I'm specifying the list name as data with small d, whereas the name of our this, uh, data set is with capital D. So I have so this is what we need to correct. So let me now properly give the extractor question. So there you go. And so this is our question, and you can see that the answer is spot on. Just a terse quick answer. 
Now let's ask it another question. The other question which I'm asking it, how many beaches are there in Australia? Now if you go back to the data set, one of the facts says somewhere here that Australia has over 10,000 beaches, more than any other country. Let's see if our extractor is able to detect that uh, answer from this data set. I'm just going to ask it. There you go. Over 10,000. So very, very quick, sweet answer with the help of this extractor to the point. So that is why I really I like this tool as you can imagine because I have been doing almost daily videos on this TXT AI because it is so quick, so easy and there are a lot of use cases. You can embed this thing readily in your world-class generative AI applications. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you are struggling or if you are stuck anywhere, if you have any questions, please ask and I'll try to answer. If not, I know the guy in TXT AI. I'll go and ask uh, uh, that person I think they are very, very helpful too but all in all a really awesome tool so I hope that you enjoyed it too if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and please also share the channel among your network thanks for watching